Hi friends, it's Michelle from Women of Whiskies. Hey, thank you for joining me. So a lot of you have seen me kind of mess around and joke around about my um, Jack Daniels Coy Hill whiskey. And I thought maybe it was time that we actually sit through it and talk about it and see, is it too hot to handle? Is it all that it says it is? Is it too much fire? So, um, so what we're talking about is, and get this, the Jack Daniels Single Barrel Special Reserve Koi Hill Whiskey. It is a nine year, and they really strived to be different on this one. And um, what they're saying, or what is true, is that this was actually aged at the highest point at their property. So um, up on Koi Hill, they have these warehouses and up top is what they call the buzzard's roost, which is those highest barrels right up by the roof. That's where this came from. So um, they're, they do vary in proof, but they're all very high proof. Mine is 140.5 hot. So um, I poured a little glass and thought we could take a look at it. This is the usual similar Jack Daniels mash bill. It's 80% corn, 12% barley, and 8% rye. So, um, but look at the color on that. Look how dark that is. Um, I don't know that I've seen a whiskey this dark. Um, it's fascinating. Okay. Anyway. So, okay. So you could see that there is some gone out of this bottle. When I initially poured this, it was when I went to, to get it on the nose, it just smacked me. It was so hot. And now, now that it's had some time to open up, it is not that way at all. It's completely different. So um, give yours a chance to open up. Because what I get is I smell a pepper, um, I don't smell that that heavy, heavy ethanol. It's more of like um, a pepper with um, a sweet cherry. You don't get that usual banana note. Um, it's kind of taken over by cherry and vanilla. Um, very different than when I originally poured it. It is a little hotter on the palate, but not not anything near what you think it would be for this proof. Again, you get that sweet cherry, like a maraschino cherry. But on the palate, I'm picking up some dark chocolate. So I think of like, if you're at a movie theater and you're eating like hot tamale candy and some dark chocolate like that. Um, and then right in the center of your tongue, you've got that, that pepper, that pepper that coats it. Um, very, very prominent. None of the banana notes. Um, everything else, just it's just not there. Not for me. Um, and then I wanted to make sure that's what I was tasting because I'm horrible at spices when it comes to my notes, but I do taste some baking spices on the back of that. Um, maybe like a toffee, um, like Christmas candy type of spices. I don't know what that is, but that's what it reminds me of. But, um, it's definitely not hot. It is not too hot to handle. So if you're afraid of the label and the proof on it and uh, people calling it hazmat and all this stuff, I urge you to let it open up and, and give it a try because the notes that are coming through on this are absolutely fantastic. Yeah, this is a bottle that, because I don't know when I'll get another one, I'm gonna put it up on my shelf and this is going to be that thing that I open up and share with my friends. We're going to sit down and have a couple drinks and catch up and enjoy it. This is um, this is a bottle that's meant to share and make memories with. So thank you for joining me. Don't forget Women of Whiskies comes on Wednesday nights on YouTube Live. And the fourth Wednesday of the month is our Criminals and Cocktails. So if you like true crime, I highly suggest you subscribe and check us out on the fourth Wednesday of the month. And um, don't forget, drink it how you like it. There's no wrong way to drink your whiskey. Cheers, friends. Thanks again for joining me.